Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little while but I have had to wait for things to come in the mail. So today, even though it's been a couple months, um, it is time for the July Owl Crate unboxing. Um, so I've tried to stay offline for spoilers but I do know that apparently a mug comes in the July box every year for Harry Potter's birthday. Um, last year I believe it was based off the Goblet of Fire, so that'll be interesting to see if there's a mug in it. Um, besides that, I do know there is an apron as well, purely because I got an email from Alcrate asking about an apron thing because there was a typo on the apron and they're sending out another one over November, December. But, um, let's crack right into it. So, lots of pepper. So, the first thing I see in the box is the top of the mug box. So, box, let's open that up. Oh, this is gorgeous. I hope you can uh, see that with my kind of well lighting but um this is beautiful it is by an artist named it's on the box here Kara Kozig I hope I said that right um they've got the castle and uh, the dark mark and forks and um with Dumbledore and there's also like Harry and you know, like a potions class kind of thing. I hope you can, there we go. In like a potions class kind of thing. And so I think it's actually meant to be based off the Half-Blood Prince, I think. Judging by the illustrations on the mug. But this is so cute. I reckon that's adorable that they do that. So to go with it, there is also Riddle's Tea Shop, an Alcrate exclusive Simon Sour Cherry Scones Loose Leaf Tea Blend. I do love my tea, so uh, that'll be nice to drink out of my new mug. What else have we got? There is also some paper clips here, some little arrow paper clips that says on it, hope is the only thing stronger than fear. So, little paper clip tin with that. So that'll be nice for on my desk. So I've taken off the plastic because it's just easier to see with no reflection and stuff. But um, that's the pin for July. It says decide your fate on it. And I think that's really cute. And it's going to look good on my jacket. And to go with it, there is also a wooden bookmark of Star Wars themed. So on one side and then... On the other side, I'm not a Star Wars fan, so I know that this person is, I think, Princess Leia, maybe. And then I think it's, <laughs> every Star Wars person's going to come for me, but I think it's Kylo Ren. I really don't know. I'm not a Star Wars fan. Um, so that is nice. I actually really like the wooden bookmark sort of idea. And then... This is the apron that comes in it. Oh, kind of, I hope you can see that. <laughs> sort of. Um, so yeah, it's based off the uh, Raven Cycle. So that will be nice to wear when I go cooking next. But yeah, it's based off the diner from the Raven Cycle, I believe. So that's nice. And it, it actually feels nice too, like it's nice material. And now we have drum roll the book for this month it is called oh it's not wrapped this month it is called goddess in the machine by laura beth johnson so that looks beautiful that cover and it's got beautiful golden spray edges we love sprayed edges here and in the front it has a signature making it a special edition for our crate and with the dust jacket off, what have we got underneath? So we've got this beautiful purple cover underneath. 
and then just goddess in the machine written on the side so that's beautiful but I do like the dust jacket a lot <laughs> that's beautiful so that is nice judging by uh, what I've seen so far of like the cover and everything of the book I, I try not to judge but just the way that it's sort of displayed out it looks uh, dystopian and um, dystopian is not really my thing but I do love a good fantasy read so that'll be pretty good can't wait to read that and there is my uh, little author's letter from her that goes with it so that is nice that'll look good on my shelf together and so that is it in this month's owl crate well July's owl crate so that is it in the box and the next video will be when I get my August one in the mail. It's it's tough because of COVID uh, because obviously being an international customer, I've got to wait a lot longer anyway for it to be shipped to Australia from the US. But now that everything's going by ship and not a plane, it's a little slower. So that's fine. So we'll just wait and yeah, but I can definitely say my favorite thing out of this box for the July month is definitely my mug. That's just because I'm a Harry Potter fan. But yeah, so um, comment down below what item was your favorite and uh, any other video suggestions or anything you have and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to turn on my post notifications so you never miss when I post. And don't forget to subscribe and thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.